We'll provide a quick lesson on JSON and how they work, and then how you can use the JSON stringify in order to convert a object into a string representation of the object, and then also how you can have a string representation of an object and convert it back into a usable object using JSON parse. So that's all coming up in this lesson. So this lesson, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a JSON object. And JSON is gonna be a way for, similar to what we see with the JavaScript objects. And it's a standard for storing data. And this is a readable format for when you are creating the data. So if we had a list of people, we're gonna include an array. The array is gonna contain multiple objects. The objects are all gonna be structured the same way. So within a JavaScript object, we can set the property name without using the quotes, but for the JSON, you do need to have the double quotes. So these have to be structured with double quotes in order for it to be a valid JSON object. And then also let's set the last name. And if we want to connect a couple objects together, let's add a second one using the same structure that we did for the first one. So setting up a first name and then setting up a last name for that person. So when we output the result into the console, it's gonna be the same result that we see whenever we're creating it as a JavaScript object for each, and people is gonna be the array, so that allows us to loop through each one of the people, and we can return the result back as person into the console. Let's output the result for person. So we can see each one of the people that are within the people array. And because the structure is the same, that means that we can easily select the first name and the last name. So that way we can get the first name and we can also select the last name. So creating a string value using the template literals. Let's uh, return back the value of the person first and then provide a space there and then return back the value of the person last and we'll output the result into the console. So it's gonna return back both of the people that we have within the array. So for JSON objects, they're written the same way as we do when we are creating the JavaScript objects with the curly brackets, and they can contain multiple name pair values. And also for the arrays, just like the JavaScript arrays, they're written with the square brackets and these contain each one of the items, and these are just comma separated. So typically you will see a bunch of different objects. You might even see property names as well. So this might be an object with an array contained within it. There are some built-in functions in either in JavaScript to work with JSON, is the JSON stringify. And what that does is that will convert a JavaScript object or a JSON object into a string. So if we were to take the JSON and do a stringify, passing in the value of people, the result is gonna be a stringified version. The result is a stringified version, so that's gonna be outputting it within a JSON format and outputting it within a stringified format. So that means that we can't now loop through, we can't get the string value of uh, the people or the first person. Uh, so this is just a static string. So none of this will be able to work where we can select the string and select the item with the first index. That's not gonna return anything back. It's just gonna use the string methods in order to return that content back. So we can also convert it back into an object using a JSON parse. And that what that does is that expects a JSON formatted string that needs to be passed in. And then when you parse it, this is gonna convert it back into a usable object format in JavaScript. So now it's back to that usable object format where then we can select the object using its array value. And then if we want to return back the first matching value there, we can then return back that name that's gonna be the first object item when you need to structure it. And then also if you need to send a JSON value or JavaScript object as a string, 
you can do that within this type of format where you're stringifying it. And if you're retrieving back a stringified version of a JSON object, you can use parse in order to turn it back into a usable object format.